Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. I'm a content creator around beauty, makeup, motherhood, basically lifestyle. Today I have a Shein video for you, a try on and a haul. But what are your thoughts on Shein? Have you tried their maternity? I recently decided that I don't have a lot that really fits right now. Currently I'm 17 weeks pregnant on my fourth pregnancy and so the first time around I didn't have to buy any maternity. The second time around I had to buy, well I wasn't, I didn't have to, but I ended up getting a couple pieces here and there. So the third time around I definitely had to break down and buy a few more maternity clothes because I got a little bit bigger. And now as I am in progress of the fourth, I here at 17 weeks just nothing fits except for sweats and dresses and currently it's springtime and you know some days are warm and some days are cold i need some more clothes <laughs> especially as summer is approaching so i went on to shein and looked what they had and they had a few cute things thank you baby i went on to shein to see what they had they had some pretty cute stuff but they were selling out of my size left and right as i couldn't hold anything in my favorites category so i ended up only getting six things and i'm going to show you what i got and i'm also like i said going to be trying them on and showing you first i will start with this little it was more of like a lounge set i paid this retails for $22.40. No. This retails for $22 even. And it came with some shorts. And it came with a loose top. Yes, it is thin. As you can tell, you can see through it. But it also um, it holds in some warmth. I like to wear it around the house because I'm either freezing or I am sweating my butt off. I figured I am not just going to wear loungewear around the house. I'm probably going to be wearing this either together as a set out or I would definitely wear the shirt alone or the shorts alone because they are super comfy. And when I first got them, I was thinking, oh no, because... This, I mean, it has an adjuster. That part is great. I, I didn't realize it had this kind of adjuster in it. And so like it was maxed all the way out and I was like, all this looks way too big for me. You know, cause maternity is like not, I mean, you have women's, then you have juniors and then you have maternity and they're all different. You know, they're all different. I was a little worried about that. I do have elastic, not maxed out. Like I could definitely take in more. It's pretty comfortable where it's at now. I have all this extra, so plenty of room as baby grows. And like I said, it's super comfortable. Yes, it is a little see-through, but you can't really tell when it is on. You can see it from right there, from the sunlight coming in. But this is my first set. I absolutely love the color. I love the, um, well, I was gonna tell you what kind of fabric. This. Cotton and polyester. I shouldn't have much shrinkage, if any, when I wash it. I'm actually low key thinking about crocheting some um, maternity shorts. Cause I think those would be really cute and I've been dying to crochet something like that. Next I'm going to show you are these maternity shorts. They are pretty short. They are very, very see-through. Even like my no-show underwear still shows through either wear thong and I don't know. They are super soft. Like I said, they have the elastic and um, they're probably only gonna be around the house shorts because they are so see-through. It is 90% polyester and 10% bandex. I like them a lot. I'm just really sad about like how see-through they are. I would, know anticipated having a pair of shorts that were going to be a little bit thicker than what I should have sized up I mean I got my normal medium size they were six dollars yeah they were six dollars so I mean to be expected I have two rompers just so happens I got green in both this one right here it is super cute it's got some pockets and they're, I mean, not too, you know, as deep as I'd like them, but they're deep enough that I could definitely put my phone in. And at the moment, it is completely maxed out on the third one. 
on the third little buttons. I got a size six, which I believe is their medium. Yes, a medium. And this is 100% cotton, so it's definitely gonna shrink some. It's a little big on me right now, but I could definitely take it in a couple of notches. That's definitely okay. But it's super cute for spring and summer. Can't wait to wear this one right here. And this one was 12, this one was $12 right here. And the next romper is actually full length, 92 and a half percent cotton. And then the rest is spank, or the rest is spandex, not spanx. And this one also has little side pockets as well. I'm a sucker for dark green, army green, whatever you want to call it. And so this was right up my alley. This is super thin and feels so super soft. I could literally like live in this. I'm so excited about this one. This one fits me perfect. Perfect for growing belly because I mean, look how, look how stretchy this thing is. I have long legs. So also it comes all the way down to my ankles, which is great. Or if I wanted to, I guess, pull it up, you know, just a little bit to kind of look, give it that cropped look. I could definitely do that, but the, it was a plus that it was long enough in the beginning. And that one was $17. I got broke down and got some maternity swim. Okay, well one is maternity and one is not. The actual maternity one first since we're doing maternity. And it's just a white one piece. And it's got these cute little side tie ups. And this one actually fits quite nicely as well. It's also got the insert pads. Um, I am a little concerned with it being white. I did not think about that when I bought it, but when I was trying it on, hopefully it's not gonna be see-through, but it helps that it does have the pads right here to help hide the girls. So I will, I guess, have to keep you posted on, on that. And this swimsuit was $18. Also, it, it had coverage in the back. It, a lot of swimsuits these days are so cheeky and that is super inappropriate to my kids. I have all boys so far, I don't know what this one is, but all boys, my oldest is about to be eight in September and you know, I kind of got to start watching what I'm wearing. Not that, I mean, I was like kind of dressing, revealing too much, but it's getting to the be that kind of age around that kind of age and he's starting to ask questions and they just keep getting more skimpy and skimpy and skimpy so it is important to me that it is not too skimpy like I cannot have a thong back bottom like I, I just can't that's too sexualized for a child so um, it was important to me that it did cover <laughs> And it wasn't riding up anyway because I have that problem a lot with one pieces because I have a long torso and then long legs and I sh my body literally just stretches the swimsuit and normally it does go up my butt cheeks so like this one okay this one is not technically a maternity swim it is so cute and it's very similar to the one that I wanted so bad that was maternity and I guess the difference is it had the extra fabric and it was like right here that gives you the extra fabric in the middle for the growing belly. Um, this one is very, very cheeky. I did not realize that the, the picture didn't, when I was looking online at the other reviews, it didn't look as cheeky, but this one, but it is super cute and they had a maternity one, but it sold out before I could even check out with it in my like cart. It's still sold out. It just went really fast. It is also very thin and sheer. It also does not have the pads in it. I don't know if that's, you know, a deal breaker for you. You know, I guess mid back, it does not work. It comes up really high on the side and just barely covers anything in the front for me. And it just disappears in the back. <laughs> but um, maybe if I wasn't pregnant and maybe if I didn't have such a long torso, but this one, was $21 and I'm sending this one back because I won't ever ever be able to wear this so at least I could maybe get store credit that's all that I got for today thank you so much for watching 
Have you bought anything from Shein? A lot of people don't like Shein. Um, what's your thoughts on that? I have, I don't have anything that I absolutely hate that I've gotten from there. Um, I have a lot of pieces that I've acquired over quarantine um, from Shein, but this is the first time really going for maternity and I was quite happy with all of it, except I was a little disappointed in the shorts and like, like I said, that was just because they were so sheer and see-through and thin so but I mean to be expected I mean I wasn't expecting too much but I was expecting a little bit like I was at least gonna be able to wear it you know into town or something they're even a little bit tighter than I expected them to be even though like the belly parts you know I don't know I'm a little let down with that one that piece because they do have some cute stuff and just make sure you really read, I mean, with anything on Shein, definitely read the reviews and look at the pictures very detailedly um, to see, to get the most out of if it's going to work for you. That's what I've come to really realize with all of the Shein clothes. You get what you pay for and, you know, that's just, that's just it. <laughs> but I'm so... Thankful that you have stayed with me this far. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, follow me if you're not already. And um, don't forget to follow me if you're not already. Don't forget to also give me a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Knows, lets me know what you like, what you don't like. So I can make more content around that. Also, just engage with me, like in the comments. I would love to engage right back with you guys. So, um, and also follow me on all my socials. I will leave that link, I will leave my handle right here, but I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.